Hello everybody, this is Bucket O' Cheese. Now, this video is something, um, different than what I have been doing. So, in the last video, I believe it was, that I posted, I promised to do a review of the first snapshot for Minecraft 1.9. So, this is 15W31A. So, this snapshot added in a lot of new features, but they're not really accessible in survival mode, and they're going to eventually fix that. Like, it added a bunch of new... Why are there two dragons? Uh, I don't know. As you see there, there are a lot of bugs. So, what we're going to do is... What are you here? Can do that? Why are there two dragons? I don't understand. Oh no. Breath. Dragon breath. Dragon breath. So, oh my goodness, it's really buggy. What I was planning on doing was, oh my goodness, he shot a fireball. Whoa, where's that coming from? Um, I was planning on doing a dragon fight, but it's awfully buggy. Whoa, crazy Enderman. So, uh, I, I don't know why there's two dragons. Quite odd. So, anyway, I'm going to go up here. I'm a little confused. Like, all these things have a right click option, so why can't I use my bow? So I have plenty of arrows. Oh, I could have shoot shot that one. Uh, let's do this so I don't. Doing that? So I don't fall off the edge. Okay, there we go. Uh, I hope this doesn't kill me. <laughs> okay. Let's walk off the edge. Oh gosh, this will probably kill me. Let's see, I packed a. I'm sorry, I'm not talking very much. Oh gosh. I overshot that. Whoa. I packed a bunch of golden apples. You might think it's too much, but when you see how hard this is, well, it's not that hard. I don't, well, I don't know. I haven't done it yet. But there's, there's a bunch of stuff after the actual whoa that actually whoa that was cool it blew it up oh gosh did I ever shoot that uh, oh my goodness that scared me are there still two dragons please say that the dragons disappeared so that's really oh dang it there's still two dragons hmm Oh, maybe I have to... How does that work? Let's try to shoot him. Have I got all the ones in the cage? Whoa! Fireball! Fireball! I wish I had brought some... What are they called? There's splash water bottles now that you can use to put out fires. I need to save at least one ender pearl. I already used a bunch of cobblestone. I need to save at least one ender pearl for a special something. I don't know why there's two dragons? Did I hit it? Oh, there it goes. Is that all of them? No, it's not. Oh goodness. No, that's not good. We need to go nap, we need to go nap. And I need 
need some more cobblestone as well. That's just great. This fight isn't going as I had it planned, but that's okay. No! Did the dragon do that? What of them? Oh my goodness! So, uh... Yeah. I finally got back to the end. And... Somehow, when I went back through, all I saw was static. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm on a completely new world now. So, I'm not going to go into the end. I promise eventually, probably when the actual 1.9 update comes out, I will do an end playthrough type thing. But, speaking of when they fix all the bugs. Tomorrow they're going to do another snapshot. I hope I get this up today. Today's July 29th, 2015. So anyway, it's a uh, Wednesday. So Thursday, they're supposed to be doing another snapshot, which will fix a lot of the bugs like double ender dragons in not working crazy stuff like that so i just want to say before i do this currently the way to respawn the dragon is to make a creeper face out of clay and they're going to change that but they haven't currently added in the items you need to make the ender crystal that you use to summon the dragon so anyway you can spawn as many as you want and they haven't added the dragon's breath anything like that so first off there are these flowers, coarse flowers, I'm just sort of coarse, um, there's all this stuff, coarse plants, coarse fruits, pop coarse fruits, everything's purple, it's just kind of the ends thing, so there's these, oh, they have to be planted on in stone, so, in stone, Get the coarse plants and they grow and they grow these little things called coarse flowers now when you break one of these it gives you a coarse fruit the coarse fruits can be eaten and they randomly teleport you places or you can cook them and get pop coarse fruits that's the regular one the pop ones are used to make um her purr blocks which is these little things I'll show you so that makes that four purple blocks you can well, maybe not I don't know how to make the pillars maybe you can't so then take these you can make stairs or slabs it's just a new type of block so now but it seems to have gotten thicker. <laughs> so anyway, um, I think it's kind of, I can't jump on that. I think it's kind of weird, like, all this stuff looks a little too, I don't know, fancy for Minecraft, maybe? But, and the thing with all the different ways to use your course plants it's just a little confusing so what I would have shown you in the video is or in the first part of it was when you kill the dragon it summons in the portal with the like an egg just like normal but it also spawns an in gateway which is a small portal that is one by one block so you can only get into it by throwing the inner pearl into it which you can now do in creative so you use the inner pearl throw it in there you get teleported to an island with a bunch of these huge cactus things made out of these and there's like a big in city dungeon as they call it and bone meal this thing and you use that in city dungeon to get cold loot and nope and there's tons of these things called shulkers now 
I'm going to get rid of all this stuff and get me a diamond sword and show you exactly what a shulker does. Now, they shoot these little thingies at you that travel on an XY axis. You can punch them and they explode. Well, they don't really explode, but they disappear. Wait. Oh, they got in a battle. A lot of times they'll like shoot each other. Okay, let me fix it. Kill him. Okay, so if they accidentally shoot each other, they'll battle. That's why you don't really want to place them right beside each other. But I'm going to get hit by one of these projectiles and you'll see what happens. So I have the levitation effect now. And as you can see in the top right corner, it shows the potion levitation thingy. And whoa, that's, they also travel on the Z axis. Oh gosh, I'll probably die when I fall. Okay, I didn't die. Let's kill him. Kill him. No! No, I can't kill him! So, anyway. Basically, um. Whoa! It's still coming at me. Come on, buddy. Come on. So. It'll show potion effects up here. The good effects are on the top row. The bad effects are on the bottom row. Um, the ones you got first will be to the left if you have multiple ones. And also, if they start blinking, they're about to run out. The faster they blink, the closer they are to running out. I'm trying to do this really fast because I don't want to bore you since you can't actually watch. But there's also new... Uh, splash things. There's mundane splash po splash potions, thick splash potions. I don't know what that even means. And, the and then there's also these splash water bottles. Now, if I take flint and steel, some people think this is useless. I think it's pretty cool. So, pretend I have a fire in my house. I'm not going to build an actual house. And I get some of this stuff. I can actually throw it, and it makes a tiny little puddle and puts out water. I mean, lava. It doesn't put out... Ah, fire. I mean, sorry. It doesn't put out lava. But, so, yeah. If you think this video is kind of boring, I'm sorry. But, this is the really cool thing. So, the dragon head... It does a couple of things, for instance, I can wear it on my head, and it's huge. You currently can't get them in survival mode. Now, I assume the dragon will drop them, maybe, but anyway, well, if you're wondering if I'll get the dual wielding, I will in a second. I don't like holding it because it's, like, huge. So... Let's take that, and it does its mouth up and down. It It's amazing. And if I stop it at the right moment, I can have one with an open mouth. So, yeah. Okay, as I mentioned, and it can float so you can see it better. As I mentioned a minute ago, I'm going to talk about dual wielding. So, what is this thing called dual wielding, you maybe ask, or you probably already know. Maybe. So... I have this diamond sword in my right hand, as you can see, because it's on the right. That's how life works, right? In Minecraft, you can only have stuff on your right hand, right? No. You can have it in either hand. So, this is a bad example, because swords only do damage when they're in the main hand. So, you put something in your off hand, off hand, and you can make your left hand your main hand. By the way, that's beetroot seeds and beetroot. Sorry, villager. The crops are still there. Oh, uh, was he farming them? I have no idea. So, um, beetroots, you can eat them or make, I think you can eat them, or you can make soup out of them, but they're not really combat related, so I don't see why they're in this update. They were in the pocket edition. If you like beetroots, I'm sorry if I offended you, but yeah. So, let's get a bow. And, and 
So we have the spectral arrow, which I want to talk about a lot. I love the spectral arrow. So let's put that up for now. Actually, that doesn't matter. So see, I'm using this now. I can only use a sword um when it's in my main hand, and since my right hand is my main hand, you see, I'm not using my sword now. If I toggle it back and put my bow in my off hand. Hmm. Why is that not working? I'm not sure why that doesn't work. Um. Uh, okay. So, pretend I have. That's the spectral arrow. Pretend I have a couple of different arrows in my inventory. How does my bow decide which one it wants to do? It does the one that's in the oft hands. Off. I'm saying oft. In the off hand slot. So, let's get a regular arrow. I thought I saw something weird. Um, a regular arrow as well. See, it's shooting spectral arrows and not regular arrows because I'm actually holding a spectral arrow. So, let me show you what a spectral arrow does. So, I take this zombie spawn egg and just put him right there. And I can't really see him completely, can I? Well, now I can. See, I see through these blocks, and I see the zombie. Now, the effect only lasts a few seconds, I think. Yeah, but they need to make, like, arrow two, or, like, a longer one. I don't know if that makes sense, but... See, even if an Enderman escapes when I shoot him... He still gets the spectral effect, which I think might be a bug, he sounds angry, but I can actually shoot it up in the air, like, hardly even trying, or trying to give myself the spectral arrow effect, uh, give it to myself, why am I not getting it, I don't know, but it would show it up there. And what I want to do is what was I going to do? Oh skeletons! Thank you, Mr. Skeleton. I'll show you what it looks like on spider. It does damage in that. So you may be wondering, why is that skeleton not holding his bow up? That's weird. Skeletons are supposed to do that, right? Well, they are. And this guy doesn't see me. Actually, will he get mad at all? No, I have to go into survival mode. So let's give him an S. So, whoa, that guy sees me. Oh gosh, that was a bad idea. Anyway, where I was? All my stuff. It's over here. I don't really care. <laughs> They're in a sniper duel. Seems like all that happens in these videos is people attack each other. At least in this one. So he killed him. Um, let's get rid of the spider. So you can see. They actually have better aim, probably, but let's just pretend I, I ran way over here, way, oh my gosh, he can see me forever. He still see me? Do they have the super sight thing that zombies have where they can see like 50 blocks away? But, let's go, whoa! So anyway, the, until they pull it up, this guy's getting on my nerves, until they pull their bow up, they're not going to shoot, and you can actually, why is he still shooting? Okay, he's getting on my nerves. Sit. That was my next pick. So, <laughs> this thing's never going to grow, I don't think, so you can actually see his um, bow like pull back oh and in the inventory now it shows the bow being drawn back so yeah that's how that works but for instance let's take a pickaxe and some torches 
<laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, so let's put torches in the offhand. This is the sort of thing I would use this for. So let's pretend I'm mining, which I sort of am. Well, it doesn't really work in sand. It's not what mining is designed for. So I'm breaking all this stuff. Now that we're down here in the sandstone, um, I'm just breaking all this stuff, and then I want to place a torch. Well. If I right click, I don't have to switch any hand slots or anything. I just place a torch with the right click. That's just how it works because I'm holding them both. So, you can use that for things like that. And even though the offhand slot pops up as a shield, they haven't added the shield yet. It's probably coming in a sooner or later snapshot because they are going to be available. And you can hold two shields if you want to. But as soon as that happens, they're going to take away sword blocking. That'll also get rid of the like thing where you... I'll try to show you. Um, this is a long video, by the way. Wait, why is that still there? If I throw that... Yeah, then that stays there. It's, I guess I pick them up. So, people do like... I can't really do it, but you can block and attack at the same time. You won't be able to do that because you can't attack with the shields, really. Well, I guess you can, but it would be like a half a heart of damage or whatever the normal thing is. Um. So yeah, that's what that does. And I wish I could have shown you the big in cities. The in cities also have like an in pirate ship type thing that actually has a beacon in it and some pretty good loot but um I'll show you that sometime I'm not going to review the next snapshot if if there's snapshots that like add stuff then I'll do those but thanks to this video this is gonna be the only video I'm doing so I'm even farther behind on my schedule Next week, starting Monday, I'm not going to post any videos until Saturday I might post one, because I'm going somewhere, and then I'm going somewhere else. Oh, what was that? That was weird. Oh, I also want to show you one more thing. Oh, two more things. <laughs> There's end stone bricks. They look pretty cool. Like I said, it looks too realistic for Minecraft. And then there's also the end rods. They're basically just torches. But they can be placed that way, that way, that way. Uh, more ways. They can be placed on the side of those, which is kind of weird. That way. B basically, anyway. Um, sort of like pistons, the way they shoot out, I guess. But they're found all over the in city dungeons. And the in city dungeons have like parkour, staircase things. And the shulkers can actually hit you with the levitation. And if you're skilled enough, you can use that to your advantage to get up to the top and get the loot without falling at all. So, yeah, I'm also going somewhere else the next week, but I might make a couple videos while I'm there, and then post them all when I get back, I'm not sure what day that'll be, but, yeah, so, final thing, oh, did they get harvested? There were some beetroots over here. Mm, I have no idea. Um, sorry I messed up, and you can actually jump on top of this. It looks kind of like a candle. I keep getting sidetracked, because I keep remembering stuff. But, I didn't think that was power. Anyway, so, this doesn't seem like it's ever going to grow. But, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't use any foul language, take the Lord's name in vain. Um, be racist, threaten people, anything you wouldn't want done to yourself. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.